Hey everyone, welcome back to Gadgets Bod. Today we're diving into the world of the new Raspberry Pi 5. In this box we have the Raspberry Pi 5 itself, the official Raspberry Pi 5 case, and the active cooler. Let's start by taking each item out of the box and placing them on the table. First up, we have the Raspberry Pi 5. Next, the official Raspberry Pi 5 case. And finally, the active cooler. Alright, with everything out of the box, let's start unboxing each item individually. Let's start with the Raspberry Pi 5. Inside the box we have the Raspberry Pi 5 board, a quick start guide, and some safety instructions. This is the star of the show. The Raspberry Pi 5 comes with a more powerful processor, more RAM options, and improved connectivity compared to its predecessors. Let's move on to the active cooler. Now let's unbox the active cooler, which is essential for keeping your Raspberry Pi 5 cool, especially during intensive tasks. The active cooler includes a fan and a heatsink along with thermal pads attached to the base of the active cooler, which will significantly help with thermal management. Attaching the cooler is simple. Just align it with the processor and secure it with the push pins. Make sure the thermal pads on the bottom of the active cooler are placed and aligned properly for effective heat dissipation. This ensures your Raspberry Pi performs optimally. Before we assemble everything into the case, let's connect the active cooler fan to the power on the Raspberry Pi board. The fan pins should be plugged into the 4-pin JST PWM fan connector right here between the 40-pin GPIO header and the USB 2 ports. With the fan connected, we can now proceed to assemble everything. Aren't we forgetting something? Yes, we need to unbox the official Raspberry Pi 5 case before that. This sleek and sturdy case will protect your Raspberry Pi 5 and give it a professional look. It includes a lid, base, side panels, a heat sink, inbuilt fan and rubber pads. Since we've installed the active cooler, we don't need the heat sink and the fan that comes with the box. The rubber pads should be attached to their respective slots under the base panel of the case. Place the pads onto their designated slots with care. Once completed, we're prepared to assemble our Raspberry Pi 5 into the case. The Raspberry Pi 5 enclosure consists of four parts that clip together. First, we'll take the Raspberry Pi and gently position it on the red base plate. Since we've already installed the active cooler onto the Raspberry Pi, we'll remove the fan that comes with the case. Next, we'll securely place the middle enclosure, followed by attaching the top lid. The top lid and middle enclosure have a ventilation gap to ensure proper airflow. With your Raspberry Pi securely positioned inside the case, it's now ready for use. And there you have it! Your Raspberry Pi 5 is securely housed in its case and ready to go. With enhanced performance and active cooling, you're all set for exciting projects. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to GadgetPod for more tech content. See you next time.